What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an extension that might eventually replace layout. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so you might've heard of Rayon Design. So Rayon.Design is a tool that uh, you can access. It's basically a cloud-based, though they have a desktop app that you can use as well. And you can use it to create two-dimensional drawings. So um, basically it's like a two-dimensional CAD software, um, but it's got a really nice user interface. Uh, it's really smooth to use, and um, it gives you access to a whole bunch of different functions. And so uh, you can access it by going to Rayon.Design. And basically you can also download their app and there's a ton of like example files that you can look at of things that people have created with rayon and so you can see how you can use it to create two-dimensional elevations uh, two-dimensional drawings other things like that and um, it's got a really good tool set for this kind of documentation now the limitation of rayon.design is that it's a two-dimensional drawing software now you could come in here and you could draw things like doors and windows and actually we're going to show you how to bring rayon into sketchup um, and create a 3d model as well um, but you can also bring your SketchUp models now into Rayon with their new SketchUp extension. And you can download and use Rayon for free. Now there are pro and team versions you can download to give you additional additional things. Now one thing to notice when you export from Rayon, um, if you don't have the pro version, then it's going to watermark your drawing. So that is something to kind of be aware of if you're trying to export to PDFs or something like that. So um, there is a free version and a pro version. Um, the free version is $0 um, and you can use it to try this out, figure out if you like the workflow, anything like that. The pro version gives you more features, including access to that PDF and PNG export, as well as access to the Rayon library. So this is not a sponsored video. It's just something that I find to be interesting um, and I'm interested to see how it can fit inside of a SketchUp and a documentation workflow. But you can access the rayon.design extension by going to the extension warehouse and you can search for rayon click on this right here. Um, and there's a little bit of documentation. There's not a ton. Um, so you actually have to click on help on documentation, but then you have to look for SketchUp and you can just find the SketchUp plugin in order to find some more information about the way that it works. But basically the way this works is it takes your views and it exports them to Rayon. And so right now what I have is I have a model that I've been working on and I have a couple different views and a couple ways to export it. So when you export, basically what you're going to do is you're going to access this plugin. Um, when you first click on it, you're going to have to log in. So you have to create a free login with Rayon when you do this. It's basically going to link back to your libraries right here. But if you want to export something, like say that we wanted to export this model right here, you could click on this option and you can pick a scene. So in this situation, say that I wanted to export my plan.rayon. So my plan.rayon is just a view that only has the walls in it. It's super lightweight. Now notice that there's options down below for export textures and export complex objects. So that does exactly what it sounds like. If you uncheck the box for export complex objects, uh, things above a certain complexity don't get exported. Um, textures does what it sounds like too. It'll just take your textures and export them. But in this case, Let's say that we went ahead and left all of this and I've turned off all the furniture and things like that, but I'm going to click on the option for export. What that's going to do is that's going to export my model from SketchUp to Rayon. And depending on how complex your model, this, how complex your model is, this can take a minute. So the more complex models, the more complex geometry you have in here, um, the longer this is going to take. One thing I would say is it's probably a good idea to either not check the box for complex models or um, turn off things like furniture and hand them, handle them with the rayon blocks. But in this case, notice how this exported very quickly and you can either click on open or I'm going to go to the rayon app, which you can download from the rayon website. And so now if I click on this, so I'm going to double click in order to open it up. Notice how this is now going to live inside of the rayon canvas right here. So you can see how this is exported basically my walls and my floor as two dimensional elements. And so now we've got this over in Rayon and we can start adding their functions in order to add different features or you can use your own. And I wasn't sure exactly what the best way to go about this or share this was. So what I've done is I've exported this a couple different ways just so you could look at all of them. So this first one is what happened when I toggled on export textures and I did um, export complex models. So you can see how this brought in um, a top-down view of the bed 
that I had inside of that model, as well as other things like the bath accessories and things like that. Now, inside of Rayon, when you first bring this stuff in, one of the things you can do is within your model itself. So if you click off, off of everything right here, you can adjust things like the units. So for example, I can go to my model canvas and I can set this to be feet and inches is what I would use. You can set it to whatever you want. You can also adjust the stroke scale. So what the stroke scale is gonna do is it's going to affect the line weights in here, right? So if I make this really thick, it's gonna give me really thick line weights. You can adjust how thick the line weights are overall um, using this stroke scale option right here. Um, but you could also come in and you could do things like adding dimensions. So for example, I could come down here and I could add a dimension like this. And I can dimension it across. You could also type in DI on your keyboard and then hit the enter key and then dimension like this. And you can actually tap the space key and rerun this. So you could either type in DI each time and hit enter, or if you just tap space, it's gonna rerun that dimension tool. So you can use that in order to add these dimensions really quickly inside of your model. And so one of the pluses to doing this with Rayon is if you double click in here and you select like the materials, for example, the textures that got brought in, you can go into your styles. And in this case, I'm gonna edit the style and change the texture, but you can do things like adding hatches, which are built into their library. So like, for example, they've got different floorings, right? So in this case, I might take this flooring right here and I might bring the stroke down a little bit and then also bring the opacity down just to give it kind of like this more gray look. But notice how I can come in here and I can use their library of hatches or I can add my own um, inside of Rayon itself. So I can go to hatches, you can do images, gradients, whatever you want. So if you wanted this to be a gradient, you can do that. If you want this to be a hatch, you can definitely do that as well. So there's different squares in here, other things like that. So things like the hatching are really good, but I can also do things like adding zones. So if I added a zone in this space, I'm just gonna add a simple one right here. But when I set this to be a zone, I can pick up things like areas and I can also name the spaces. So this zone, for example, see this is zone one, but I'm just gonna call this bedroom right here it adds this kind of like zone note. So you can add, use this to add information about spaces like area. And so another area where this works better than layout is if you select the fill on one of these walls, notice on the right hand side, there's gonna be a style. Well, you can click on the edit styles button over here on the right hand side. So it looks like a little pencil. When you pop that up, you can apply hatches or different colors to these walls. So notice how, because these get brought in with like this kind of like gray style, anywhere this style has been applied, you can go through and you can add a hatch pattern, for example, something like this. Um, so the hatching is much more convenient than the way that the hatching works in SketchUp and it's adjustable, meaning you can go back and you can make those changes. So um, that that is very interesting to me because hatching is such a desired feature from inside of SketchUp. This kind of brings those styles in if they're textured and then you can automatically apply the hatch just by adjusting the style. Um, but this is what it looks like if you were to export with the more complex models. This is what happens if you uh, leave the box for um, export complex models unchecked. You can see how the bed right here comes in as just kind of a block. So all of the things that are more complicated just come in as blocks like this. Um, so that's an option. And then the last one is when I had that specialty view where I've toggled things like my doors and windows off and I've only exported my walls into Rayon. Now, the reason you might do this is because Rayon actually has a decent library of two-dimensional symbols that you could use. So if I clicked on opening, for example, notice how there's a ton of different libraries for different openings. So we've got different kinds of doors, other things like that. So what I'm going to do, for example, is I'm going to look for a three-foot, zero-inch door right here. So you've got door US 30 inches. You might want to type in 36 inches right here, but you could bring in a door block, click on select, and you can place that in your opening right here. And so we're gonna to wanna to place it in the middle like this. And so you've got access to things like doors and you've also got access to things like windows. And so now say we wanted to add a window, we would just go to openings. And in this case, I just go over to the block 
option right here and you can go into the libraries and search for windows now this is kind of the like strength and weakness of rayon in my opinion opinion is it's got a really strong library of windows notice a bunch of these are pro only though there are some free ones in here as well but we're just going to pick a window and bring this in the downside to this is it can be a little bit tricky finding the window you want so this one's probably not the right fit and so more of what you want to do is you want to find a window with a style that's close to the one that you want and a size that's close. And then what I do is I drop these two dimensional blocks in the opening and I scale them. So I'll use the move function in order to move this so that it aligns with the wall right here. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide it over or so that it aligns with the opening, but then we'll use the scale function and we'll set a base point and then a target point. So we'll click click and then click one more time in order to scale it but now that fits in the opening well then you could just take this and you could just do a copy so you can type in copy right here notice how this has the kind of like the cad command line interface but i can use this in order to really quickly add these windows in like this. And so I'm not 100% sure what the best practice on this would be. If it would be to um, just kind of create these in SketchUp and then bring them into Rayon, or if you want to use the Rayon libraries, I'm not really 100% sure on that one. I'm leaning towards using the geometry that comes in from your SketchUp model, just because putting these new blocks in here can be a little bit frustrating, but you can kind of do it either way. So I'd love to hear your opinion on this. Now, where this workflow doesn't quite work yet for me is it's not a live link to SketchUp, meaning if you go back into SketchUp and you make changes and adjustments, they're not going to reflect over here. Like this doesn't update. You would have to do a completely new export to Rayon and then redimension it all, which is not really ideal. So that's one thing I'd like to see in the future is some kind of more of a live link where instead of it replacing everything that you did, it just updates what's in your model. Um, so that's, that's the downside of this workflow right here. But from a documentation standpoint, Rayon is definitely a more powerful documentation tool. So um, I'm interested to see where that goes in the future. And so the plus side is from a performance standpoint, it's much faster than layout. It's got a lot more of those CAD tools. The minus is basically what is what it's does done. It's it's vectorized all the parts and pieces of your model, and it just brings them in as lines and edges. So there's no like smart functions or anything like that, which is a bit of a bummer because you know if you use the rayon tools like the walls, like this, and then you add. An opening. Notice how this will actually like snap to the wall and cut an opening and things like that. So it actually like recognizes what the walls are. So from that standpoint, um, this is more like dumb line work in the sense that there's not smarts behind it. But I do still find this to be a really interesting application for the future. I'm interested to see how this is going to develop. Now, the other cool thing about this is you can also use Rayon in order to rough out a design and then take it over into SketchUp and take it to 3D. So let's say that we were to go to this front page right here, click on new model, and we're just going to model a simple house. So all I'm going to do is just generate a space really quickly so you can see kind of the way this works. So we would use the wall function in order to add the walls, and then we could use the door and opening functions in order to add the doors and windows. The cool thing about this is this does automatically cut the holes in things like walls. And when we export this, it's going to recognize those openings and bring them to 3D in SketchUp. So I'll go ahead and wrap up this space real quick, and then we'll go into SketchUp and see how we can import this and create a 3D building from our 2D plan in Rayon. And so the cool thing about this is now if I go over into SketchUp and I update this Rayon import. So if I click on the download right here, I can see this is the most recent thing that I've created. So you can click on the button right here in order to refresh it. But if I click on this and I can bring it in, um, it's going to allow me to do things like setting my wall height. It's going to allow me to set things like my door height, my window height, and my sill height right here in feet. And if we click on the option to import, what it's going to do is it's going to take that two-dimensional drawing. It's going to bring it in as a three-dimensional building right here. So if you like the Rayon tools for like laying out spaces and things like that, and you want to use Rayon in order to start off your model before you bring it into SketchUp, you can definitely do that, right? Notice how these come in with the door swings that were associated with that, comes in with the window opening. So it's pretty cool from that standpoint. Now you'd still have to find like doors and windows to actually fit in the openings. But if you like this kind of like smart CAD process, right here for bringing things into SketchUp, um, you can definitely do that. And just for fun, let's say that we wanted to try to bring this starter 
model in. Let's see what it does. And I've not tried this. So this will actually be interesting. So um, the starter model, there's a whole bunch of example models inside of Rayon that you can bring in. But in this case, I'm going to look for starter model right here. I'm going to click on the option for download and we're going to do the same thing. Now notice how there's a bunch of different canvases in here. In this case, I want to bring the model canvas in right here and we'll leave these settings but if I click on import it's going to import those walls and bring them up to 3D so um, it's very smart from that standpoint it recognizes what walls are and what openings are and it can actually create a 3D model in SketchUp based on those settings that you set when you do the import and so you can see how now if I kind of orbit around you can see how this is created that space using the walls that are drawn in there. Um, and it's got the first floor and the second floor. So I could take this second floor right here, put it in a group, and I could just move this over here. But you can see how I've got the multiple stories in here just like this. And I'm not sure exactly how these are supposed to align because I'm not super clear. Um, I'm not super familiar with this design. But you can see how anything that has the walls, doors, and windows is going to generate walls, doors, and windows inside of SketchUp. So definitely an interesting possibility from that standpoint as well. All right. So overall, I'm fascinated by the possibilities here. Now, in my opinion, does this replace layout? Not at the moment because that link is not live, meaning if you make changes, there's no way to just update inside of Rayon from SketchUp. It's just kind of like a dumb export. But if they were to fix that, I could see some people trying to replace layout with this. So I'm interested to hear what you think in the comments down below. You know, do you think this is a good way to go? I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.